Hey guys, what's up? Destroyer here, and welcome back to World of Tanks. So today we've got a game in the AMX 30B, the uh, Tier 10 French non-auto loading medium tank on uh, Westfield. So pretty nice matchmaking, top tier 357 and only one tier 8 artillery. Um, so just right off the bat, loading some heat, because I'm expecting I'm going to be shooting at something with armor. Uh, and because I can. Moving up to K0, spot a T49, so a quick bit of auto aim there, and a shot in for fourth, 428. It was pretty nice that that actually hit, and then another one in there for 404. And put a shot in there again for 357. So this is pretty nice when the AMX 30's gun behaves like this. Um, it is nice when it happens. Pretty rare though. Anyway, so there's quick 1300 damage, and that is that is one of the things that this tank does really well, which is put in a lot of damage really quick. Um, that's some bad lead from me, but oh well. So unfortunately, oops, there we go. Got shot by 416 over there. Uh, unfortunately, that 140 over there has made it into a good hull down position but even though the 300 heat pen on this tank is pretty abysmal it should still be enough to uh, go through his turret if I hit it in the right spots but it will definitely be enough to go through the side of a, M uh, a 59 pattern as that guy's finished off by the guys sniping over here so now it's time to try and deal with the 140 Somehow that hits and pens, not quite sure, but I'm uh, not going to complain either. Putting us at 2,100 damage already. So just going to see if we can get another shot into him. That was nowhere near. Um, spotted, just hanging back and reloading. Just going to peek out again. wasn't really ever going to achieve anything um, and at this point I'm deci I am decide that that fight isn't going to work for me so push down into the low ground here auto aim snapshot on the 416 I decided at this point since pretty much all of the tanks that would cause me a lot of pain have already been spotted and not in a position where they can shoot me if I do this that this would be a good aggressive play to make um, Fortunately, the 140 gets a shot into my back, but as soon as I come up round here, I am safe. So, I pop a shot into the side of the Scorpion G there, 416 gets a tracking shot on me. But now I'm just going to farm this Scorpion G. So, this is once again where the nice gun depression and relatively small uh, turret of the AMX 30 come, in, come into play along with the amazing DPM. So somehow that bounces off the 416. Uh, we've already finished off the Scorpion G there, and now I'm behind that 140, so he's kind of stuck in the open. So I've just got to finish off this 416, which is make, which is turning out to be a lot harder than it should. Uh, bounces that one, and I decide to load heat because apparently 248 APCR isn't enough to go through the front of his tank. His turret. Um, so I drop back down now because that 140 will give me problems there, and I'm just having a bit of a lag spike. 416 rushes me. Unfortunately, I don't roll high enough to kill him, but I'm going to turn around before he does. And now I'm a one shot for that 140. So at this point, I was kind of expecting to end up dead pretty quick. Um, you know, 140 has much better effective armor pretty much everywhere than I do, has a better gun for snapshotting, has more penetration, but luckily I get the jump on him there, so one shot in, and I'm like, he might rush me, and if he rushed me that would be good, because I got that Striv and HWK providing covering fire hopefully, although the Striv has just run off, but there's the E75 turning up now, so you know, that would be alright, but doesn't look like he's going to be making that mistake, so 
he just fired again, so put one into his track there. That was not the uh, not the best course of action. I'm just watching him. He's got his turret aimed on me, so I don't really want to peek there. But now he's falling back. I'm unspotted and just might be able to get a shot in here. Unfortunately, he spots me there as well. And this is just, you know, a bit of a stalemate. But I come up there because I saw he went behind the Scorpion G. So I'd have the advantage uh, if I was to poke him there. And, like, if he had hid behind the Scorpion G, I might have been able to thread one between its tracks. Anyway, is now a one shot or a two shot for me. One shot if I roll quite high. HWK has come over here as well. Which means even if I die here, the HWK will probably finish him off. I decide to push right up around him here, although he is looking at me, which is unfortunate, but then again, the T-34 that looked like got a shot in, and I snapshot his cupola. So there we go, it was a one-shot that dealt with him, and now I was going to just push straight in, but I'm like, no, back up, because that artillery will shoot me if I push through. There's the uh, grill over there, take a snapshot, I was never going to hit though, he was already behind the rock, and stops backing up before I can get a shot. So just pushing down here, trying to get a full flank on them, maybe kill the artillery if it's down here, but then grill pops up, so I'm going to farm the grill, that's just a bit of auto aim there. Then unlock, but nope, the grill is hiding. Yeah, so what I should have been doing right now is just pushing up, because then if I had gotten in a better position, I would have been able to farm him a lot more instead of doing what I'm doing now. So this is pretty bad play right here. Should have just gone more aggressively. And then I probably would have gotten another 1,000 damage. Either way, there's the artillery dead, so that's always nice. Always feels good to kill artillery, man. Once again, just pushing up. And grill's hiding behind there, but I'm like, alright, I got a shot on the striv. Unfortunately, that one misses. I just tracks him. Looks like that one probably hit, though. Just making sure I don't go in the cap circle, because I haven't been spotted here, so I don't want to give away my position that I'm coming up here. Because then the uh, UDES might turn around and start looking at me which would not be good. So we got the UDES, the uh, E75 just got a nice high roll on the Grill 15. Tortoise just finished off the E100. So now it's just the UDES and the Striv. And UDES is up on the stilts. I get the snapshot off there. Putting me up to six kills and 6,500 damage. So as you can see, when you get this tank in the right position, the damage does just rack up loading the heat now because 105 millimeter APCR won't go through striv but heat will and just climbing the hill windows notifications for the win All right, so now we're just gonna come over here and pop one into the side of him Drop back, reload. So I probably could have switched to APCR here, but uh, oh well. And finish him off. So there we go. That is 7,200 damage that we saw, although it looks like we probably got a blind shot. And yeah, pretty good game. So now we'll go take a look at the post game stats. Alrighty, so here we are with the post battle results. As you can see, that was an ace tanker for the 7,595 damage done along with the seven kills. Um, high caliber, top gun, 1,351 base XP, so, you know, pretty good for a tier 10. Uh, especially considering how many tier 8s we were shooting at. Although, then again, we uh, mostly shot at this guy. Oh, sorry this guy, this guy, this guy, what else, yeah, Scorpion G, put three into the strip, anyway, um, so yeah, all in all, a pretty good game, showcasing 
what the AMX30 can do when you put it in the right spot. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.